Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreitner. Today's story is the Mac ransomware called KeyRanger. If you installed the transmission BitTorrent client anytime over the weekend, specifically through Friday the 4th to Saturday the 5th, you're going to want to check your Mac for ransomware. This, of course, is due to research from Palo Alto Networks. They actually found the latest version of the transmission BitTorrent client was actually backdoored and included a piece of ransomware they called KeyRanger. Now, if you haven't heard of transmission, it, of course, is a very popular open source BitTorrent client for Mac computers. And on Friday, Transmission released an update, but it turns out that some unknown attacker was somehow able to package a version of Transmission that included some crypto ransomware. It is still unclear exactly how they breached the Transmission website and loaded this backdoored version of the installer, but somehow they did. Worse yet, they also signed this Transmission uh, installer with a certificate that was accepted by Apple from some Turkish developer. That means if you installed this backdoor version of transmission on your OS X computer, it would actually get past Apple's gatekeeper and other certificate checks. In any case, if you actually use these infected transmission apps, your OS X computer would be infected with the first ever wild crypto ransomware. Now, we have seen previous proof of concept samples of uh, Mac-based ransomware, but none have really spread in the wild, and none were super effective at actually encrypting files on your computer. However, KeyRanger is actually actually the exception. It does actually use strong encryption and encrypt many of the files in your user's directory. And it leaves you with a text file basically asking you to pay one Bitcoin, which is around 400 US dollars, to actually decrypt your files. By the way, it also looks like these attackers might be customizing this ransomware for OS X in the future. For instance, the Palo Alto researchers found some modules that seem to try to look for and potentially in the future encrypt your time machine backups as well. So not only is this ransomware good at infecting and encrypting files on a Mac computer, but it looks like the authors are actually customizing these sorts of threats for Mac computers in the future. Now there's a couple of things we can learn from this. First, one of my predictions this year was for you to expect big increases in ransomware, especially expecting ransomware to evolve to actually affect other platforms. And I personally think this Mac targeted ransomware is a great example of how ransomware authors will continue to try to uh, go after other platforms other than just Windows. On top of that, if you're a Mac user, over the years I've talked about how Mac computers do suffer security vulnerabilities. Theoretically, Macs can get infected by malware. There are flaws that allow attackers to take over Macs. So it's been kind of a long-standing feeling for Apple users that Macs aren't as vulnerable to malware. But this particular ransomware example should show that that is not true at all. Macs can get malware as well. Even though Apple does have some decent security mechanisms built into the OS, they are not invulnerable. And the final tip is to backup, backup, backup. Ransomware will continue to be a problem for users, whether Apple or Windows users. And I really don't believe in paying extortions if you can avoid it because it just encourages this type of criminal behavior. Rather, if you have a backup of all your local files, you have a way to recover from this threat. So in any case, very, very interesting story and kind of a sign of times to come. If you're an Apple user, you should not consider your computer invulnerable and you should invest in additional security controls to protect you online. By the way, one final note, the good thing about Apple, however, is they do react to security issues quite quickly. Since this particular attack, they've actually uh, programmed Gatekeeper to help prevent this uh, malicious installation. So for instance, they've revoked the developer certificate used to install this and get past some of OS 10 security checks, and they've also added signatures to actually catch this malicious application. On top of that, if you are a Transmission user, you can actually go to Transmission's website and get the latest version, which is 2.92, and it actually will also try to remove this particular malware. Anyways, very interesting story. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.